all right so what's up guys and this here with me is the iphone 15 pro max in the natural titanium and in this video we'll be taking a look at some of the cases that rinke decided to send me for the iphone 15 pro so they sent me a bunch of cases um so we'll be taking a look at all of the cases and also some accessories so they sent me four cases one um, tempered glass screen protector and one camera frame glass so we'll be taking a look at all of them uh, but first we'll start with the cases itself so i'll keep all the cases aside and we'll start one by one so the first case is the air um, clear case for the 15 pro max Just quickly tear it apart take the case out we don't need this fan plate um so yeah this is the case here um we don't have a protective covering for the front and the back but this is the case um it's a clear case nothing special but let's see what makes it different than all the other clear cases so taking the iphone I'll just put my iphone inside with the rinke cases um because i have used them for a lot of time on my 14 pro as well um I, I really really love Rinke cases. Um, some of my personal favorite cases. I also recommend this to uh, my friends as well. So okay, this is the clear case. Um, we'll start with the outer casing. Um, we have, as you can see, enough lip on the front. So even if you want to put your um, fo phone face down, it won't um, touch the ground. Again, enough lip on the camera module as well. So if you keep it. On the camera module it won't touch as well um, we can, we'll just quickly test the buttons as well so buttons are very very clicky even the power button um, on the bottom here as you can see uh, we have cutouts for the USB type C we have speaker and the microphone as well and as you can see we have enough cutout for um, a third-party cable as well uh, the official cable will obviously go in but even if you want to put a third party case um, th a third party cable it will fit nicely um, even on the action button as you can see if I press and hold it is very very easy um, you can also attach a linear um, to your case if you want so that's also not a problem um, and the thing with Ringy cases is, is it does get a little yellow depending on how you use it if you have really really oily hands or if you just don't use it nicely it will get a little yellowish but it takes a lot of time for it to um, turn yellow so that's that's that shouldn't be a problem but yeah a nice a pretty case if you want to show off your color uh, if you have the new um, natural titanium if you have the blue color as well you can clearly show it off and yeah it does look very very nice as you can see so no complaints in that department as well so yeah we'll just move on to the other case let's see how easy it is to take it out and there we go it's pretty pretty easy so i'll keep this case aside here for a second we'll jump on to the other case this one is the fusion um clear case as well so i think they sent me um two cases is this for the pro or the pro max pro pro max so um, let's see what different is in this case okay keep it aside okay so the difference between uh, these two this has a a hard plastic case on the back this one was um this is like the regular tpu material so this does have a protective film which I'll be throwing off as you should as well again same case but it will provide your phone with a little bit more protection than the basic TPU one so again sliding it in pretty easy as well um, the same thing goes let's see how the buttons are again very clicky even for the action button it's no problem um, the same deal again enough lip on the front so you don't damage the front or the back when you rest your phone uh, on a table or something like that but um, again the same thing the cutouts are also pretty pretty huge so you can use anything uh, you want with this case any accessories you want um, I will check if it's 
MagSafe compatible or not. Um, as you can see, it, it did give me a MagSafe um, sign uh, and it does stick very nice. Honestly speaking, it does, it does sit tight. Um, I think it's because of this material. Uh, so you can use it, but it can fall off pretty easily as well. So yeah, it does work with uh, this case and I am pretty sure it will work with this case as well. It's just that I think it won't be a snug fit. So I wouldn't recommend using um, MagSafe with these cases, but if you just have a MagSafe charger, I think you can easily put your phone on a MagSafe charger. So that won't be a problem. So I'll just quickly take this case off again easy to remove no issues in that and keep it to the side we'll move on to the third phone the third case so this is the um fusion matte clear case um let's see what difference we have in this so i'll just throw this aside take the plastic off There we go. Okay. Okay. So we had two clear one TPU one with a hard plastic and this is the matte case. So looks really nice from the outside. Let's see how it fits in with the phone and with the color. So again, slide it in and there you go. It fits very, very nice and damn, this looks, this actually looks very, very nice. Um, you have a matte finish on the back so you this won't attract a lot of fingerprints unlike these two um, and it actually also looks really really nice as you can see um, again the same thing enough lip on the front and on the back so you don't have to worry about um, it damaging the front or the back same goes with the ports as well and yeah this again is a hard material so Again, it won't damage the phone at all, um, which is nice. Uh, and this is actually my personal favorite till now. Um, after seeing both the cases, this one feels really, really nice in the hand. It provides grip with the sides. The side is very, very. The sides are very grippy, uh, and it feels very soft on the back, uh, as if you are holding the iPhone um, naked. It actually feels really, really nice. Damn. Okay, so um, this is a nice case um, which you can use with your new phone. Again, you can show off your color because it's it's kind of transparent by itself, just a matte finish. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next case. This is the same case but with black edges. I feel. So, take it out. Throw this to the side. This reminds me of the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. I um, also made a video on that. So if you are interested, just go down in the description and you'll find the link for it. Um, so yeah, this is this is a clear back, not a matte back. So let's see. So I personally also like the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. And uh, so let's see what difference does this case provide? How different it is? Okay. So from the back, classic black case. Um, it looks, it also looks good. Um, from the front, as you can see, you get the black edges here. So you don't have to worry about it getting yellowish or something. So that is a good thing. Buttons again, as you can see, buttons are separated, which is a good thing because then buttons will be very, very clicky. Let's try it. As you can see, the buttons are very, very clicky. Uh, the only thing I would recommend doing is taking the case off, um, not regularly, but taking the case off and cleaning the insides of the phone because then dust also accumulates um, from the from the gap that the buttons have. Let's also try the action button. Again, nice um, clicky buttons we have in this case. Uh, so overall nice case, uh, again, enough port um, for the um, charging cable as well. And with this Rinke case, um, unlike the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case, you have a very grippy side. Uh, there is, this is some other material that they have used, which will provide grip to your phone. So it's a good thing. And again, a lanyard support as well. So yeah, I mean, nice little case. Um, but personally, I would rock this one. 
if given a chance because the mat looks really really good so yeah just quickly take this case off as well and let's keep the phone here and keep the case here for now they have also sent me the camera frame glass i usually don't like to put anything on my phone it's just me uh, because i do also have apple care plus but i would definitely recommend you guys using this for the camera um just because i have seen people damaging their camera lens and then if you have to repair the camera lens i think you'll have to take repair the entire back housing so it will cost you a little more so instead of doing that um just protect the phone with a case okay so they also sent a cleaning wipe this thing to remove the bubbles and a microfiber cloth so that's a good thing and here's the um, the back housing um i wouldn't take it off um just because i wouldn't want to waste this one but you get the gist right it will fit very nice it also is very very thick as you can see so it will cover the entire back housing the the camera module and then even if you don't put a, put a case honestly if you have the camera housing and if you're not worried about the back getting scratched this will provide enough protection because it won't let the phone at least the top part to touch the ground the bottom part is still at risk but this this is really really nice um and if you're getting this i would definitely recommend you getting a ring cake case itself because it will fit perfectly with all these cases that i just showed you guys um so if you're planning on getting this module for your phone and if you want a case go with any of these it will work pretty pretty fine and the last thing is they sent um tempered glass as well which again i won't be putting because i don't really use tempered glass as well but we'll see what kit they provided with the tempered glass so i'll just keep the phone aside um as you can see as you can see uh this thing goes uh on the bottom of your phone and then you just have to place the tempered glass uh they do have wipes as well you have instruction manual inside on how to install the case on how to install the tempered glass and all so pretty pretty nice um i i honestly recommend getting everything from rinke if you are planning to buy a rinke case you should get the rinke um camera module if you should get the rinke tempered because they engineered it in a way that it will work perfectly with their accessories um so if you have any third party accessories and if it doesn't fit then that will be an issue so If you want a Rinke case, get the Rinke module, get the Rinke tempered glass. All the links will be in the description down below. So definitely check out the description if you want to purchase anything. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Here are all the cases um, and the accessories as well. There you go. So all again, as I said, all the links will be in the description down below, so you don't have to worry about looking it up or anything like that. I'll provide everything in the description. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and um, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I have a ton more case reviews coming very very soon, so stay tuned for that as well. But other than that, if you have any questions regarding any of the cases or the accessories, put them down in the comment section. and i'll be replying to you guys uh down below so yeah thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel for more and more case videos and i've also made a couple of case videos before this video uh so if you have if you are interested in any other case just look it up uh, on my channel or there'll be a link in the description down below so yeah thank you for watching uh and i'll catch you guys in the next one